Well, elsewhere, we're just a days away from Rwanda's presidential election on Friday, August 4th. President Paul Kagame is predicted by most analysts to win big. Green Party candidate Frank Habaneza and independent candidate Philippe Mpayana are fighting an uphill battle against Kagame, who has won landslide victories in the last two presidential elections. In part two of an exclusive interview, VOA's Eddie Rema spoke with the executive secretary of Rwanda's National Electoral Commission, Charles Munyaneza about the election. I want to mention two things. One, this is not the first time we have set that period. We have always had 21 days of campaigns. Look at any elections that we have had before. It has always been in that period and nobody has complained about that. Two, we did the consultation. We even consulted the political parties. And of course, these that are campaigning, except for the independent candidate, these other two come from political parties, and we did consult them. So, when we were consulting, we didn't get any problem on the on the duration of the campaigns. But let me tell you, again, Rwanda has chosen to have that period, which some people call short. But shortness is relative. Or what is what is, what is shortness? But let me tell you one of the factors that uh, even made us have that period. Rwanda is not only about elections. We've got other things we're supposed to be doing. We cannot afford as a country, a country like Rwanda, to have a whole year of election campaigns, just as it happened in some of these countries. Some of our neighbors spend a whole year, even two years campaigning, and you find this, the, the community is paralyzed. Everything is paralyzed. They spend the whole year moving around the country, the population paralyzed. So for us, we think we should have elections, but also have some other time to do other things. So that, again, has been our choice. And as far as I know, the candidates are happy with that. The population is happy with that. Whether the candidates are tired or not tired, yeah, they are looking for votes, and that's how it should be. Uh, the other thing, uh, uh uh, we mentioned uh, critics saying that this is a, a foregone conclusion, election, and uh, some are even asking themselves why should the government spend, and wa spend money and waste time on a foregone election? You, you ask yourself who are those critics? Of course, critics will be there. Rwanda has always been criticized, not only about elections. So for us, we do expect criticism. But as far as we know, Rwandans are happy with the process, Rwandans are ready for this, and they know the value of these, of these elections. So whether they are critics or not, at least we know that Rwandans who are looking forward to these elections, they are ready for these elections. You can see, the, 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 as you were saying, the, the candidates are moving up and down looking for votes. So it's not a foregone conclusion that we are wasting money on. We are Planning elections, we are spending this money because we wanted to build the system that we have started as Rwanda and as Rwandans. So we are not bothered as, a, as the Electoral Commission, and I don't think Rwandans are also bothered. But of course, there might be some other people who are bothered. And that's how it is. This is, this, this is our world, this is the world we live in. So we are moving forward with the elections and we are promising Rwandans. A very smooth electoral process, and at the end of the day, I know Rwanda will continue being what it was to. And that was VOA's Eddie Ruema speaking with Charles Munyaneza. He's the executive secretary of Rwanda's National Electoral Commission.